Okay, so um, it's a little bit cloudy today. Not too bad. The sun is definitely coming out. About 7:30 in the morning. I don't usually fish in the mornings, but I'm awake. I decided to try it out today. I was trying to think about where to go, and uh, I was looking online, and I saw a news article about all the rain that we've had lately and all of the rain that we've had over the last five weeks has completely cleared up or taken care of our drought we're no longer in a drought all the rain that we've had in the last five weeks has made up for the past year of drought uh, and that got me to thinking like you know back in October I think it was October I did a video about Lakeside, Teeler Park. I got there and the water was gone. It was almost completely drained. So I'm going back there today to see if there's any, any water in it, any more water in it. it should, the water level should be back up. It should be normal. Um, yeah, so let's get out there and see what there is. So let's go ahead and teleport over there now. Well, I'm in the parking lot. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Nope, that's the wrong direction. That's the playground, a little bit closer, but not looking good because it's supposed to be water right up here. Let's try somewhere else. The f ah, there we go. That's better. I don't know what the hell that was, but here we go. Here's the water. Uh, the water level is definitely up, but it's not up as high as it should be. Uh, it's up a lot from the last time I was here. Uh, when I get over to the dock, which is over there, uh, I'll show some comparisons from today and the video from like October or whenever it was. But right over here, you can kind of see. Like when I used to come out here all the time, the water level was up to right here, right at the base of this tree. And now it's down over there. But it is still up considerably higher than, than it was the last time. All right, got a new microphone installed. Hopefully it's working. Uh, I shot a video the other day using the microphone and the, the case that holds the GoPro into the, the chest strap didn't allow the microphone to plug all the way in so there was absolutely no audio the whole time. I am seeing a little bit of activity out there. So let's, saw something splash right there a second ago. So hopefully there's something here that'll be interested. Starting off with a five inch skinny Senko I've also got a three inch swim bait and some two inch swim baits that I might switch up to if I'm not, if I don't get any bites on that. Well, that's interesting. That is a pistol grip. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the next spot. I'm not feeling it over here. Not right now anyway, maybe I'll come back later. Saw a couple of rabbits, but I wasn't quick enough to get video of them. Oh, there was a something just hit the surface right there. Oh, I got it, whatever it was. I got a fish. There we go. There are still fish in here, and this one is, I mean, it's not a very big fish at all, but it's, I don't know, 12 inches. There we go. And I just hooked myself in the shoulder. Okay. There you go. Maybe not even 12 inches, honestly. A little bit of damage on his tail skinny could be a stunted bass because it looks like it's spawned out it's very skinny so it could be a male could be a stunted female 
Uh, but yeah, they're still in here. So let's get another one. Swam off nice and slow over there. Honestly, I'm surprised I was able to land that fish because I threw out the, see this dead tree here that fell down. This tree has actually always been here. This has always been one of the the landmarks that I would come to and I would throw under the tree here and catch fish because the water level used to be all the way back up there. So you'd throw under the tree here, catch fish right here all the time. But I saw something swirl over there. So I threw it over all these branches and he took it pretty quickly. It didn't take very long for him to go after it. Uh, and somehow, I don't know how, why he did it, uh, the, the fish was very considerate. He went around those branches instead of coming straight through them, went around them and came up over these branches on this side instead of going under them. And he actually jumped over one of them that was sticking up out of there. So that fish was very considerate and did not get my line stuck. He, he like I, if, if the fish hadn't taken it, I'm not sure I would have been able to get my bait, bait through there without getting snagged. So the fish actually helped me out there. Okay, so I have fished almost all the way around the main lake, at least the, the accessible parts. Still got a little bit more I can fish over this way. And then I fished the one corner of this little pond here. So far I only had that one fish, one bite. There's a whole school ball of bait fish right here in front of me, so it'd be nice if there was something blitzing on them, chasing them. Oh, got one. It feels good, like a good one. Come up over here. Yep, don't go into the reeds. All right, that's two. Man, that was a brand new skinny Sanko too. And he just, it's gone. He shook it off or something. But it's not a very big fish. Felt like a big fish. He fought very hard, but he ended up just being a little guy. Not much bigger than that first one. So there we go, that's two already. I just unplugged my microphone trying to reach down over here. Ugh. Look, there's a little bitty snake. He's actually kind of coming my way here. He's actually coming straight for me now. That is a racer. It's coming straight for me though. That's a very pretty snake. It's solid green. Not that anybody could see him because he darted away at the end there. But he came right up within like two feet of the edge of my foot there. He disappeared. He's still somewhere right here. I didn't see him dart off anywhere. But anyway, he was <clears throat> white on the bottom, solid green down the back with two orange stripes and then a light green stripe down the middle. That's uh, some kind of racer. I forget what they're called though, what their actual name is, but they're, they're very, very cool looking snakes. Anyway, I was about to explain that fish right now and there's another one that just popped out there. So I'm gonna throw over to that. Uh, I threw out as far as I could straight ahead. And then I saw one swirl right here on the edge of this grass in front of me. So I started bringing it in, trying to get it up there. And when I was doing that, another one hit it further out there. And that's, that's what happened. He caught me off guard. I wasn't, exact, wasn't actually expecting him like that. Okay, out here at the dock, I'm gonna go ahead and show clips from the old video so people get an idea of where the water level was. You can see where the water level comes up through now. Still a few feet, probably four or five feet down from where it should be, but it's up considerable from the, a considerable amount since the last time I was here. Like there could be fish hanging out in the grass right here. 
when the last time I was here, I was able to walk out probably 30, 40 feet that direction without getting my feet wet and the ground was dry. So it's up a good amount. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show those old clips now of me walking around where I walked underneath this and all that. Look at this. This is insane. Like, I'm gonna walk, I can, I'm walking under the dock. I should be in water right now. And it's been like this for a while, apparently, because it's dry. The dock is up higher than me, so the water level should be, um, water level should be about right here, which would be, uh, five feet. So that's a lot deeper than I thought it was. So that's, that's insane that the water level has dropped that far. Man, this is crazy. What happened to this lake? I actually had no idea it was actually this deep, but still. Kind of kind of gives me new respect for when it was up where it was supposed to be. All right, as you saw there, it is up a considerable considerable amount. Now it's time to see if there's any fish in the area. Even against the wind, I could I cast that one pretty far. It's a little frustrating. I've fished completely around both ponds, the main lake and the pond. I've only caught the two fish. So now I'm doubling back and Hitting all the spots I've already hit. Okay, so I gotta interrupt the video here for a minute. Uh, at some point here, probably about halfway through the day, my battery died and I had to unplug the microphone and take off the skeleton case and everything to change out the battery. And when I put everything back on and plugged the microphone back in, I guess it did, wasn't lined up right and the case didn't let the, the microphone plug all the way back in. It let it plug in just far enough to cut off the internal microphone, but not far enough to turn on the external microphone. So uh, everything else for the second half of the day didn't have any audio. Uh, so I'm gonna just play some music over it, a couple more fish, and then meet you back here for an outro. Okay, there you go. I caught five fish total, which was actually a pretty good day there. They, I mean, they were all small. Uh, there was like two of them that were 
almost de- decent. They were like 12 inches and up. Uh, but yeah, five fish out of a lake that just a few months ago was almost completely dried up. Uh, three of them were in the smaller pond, which is, a, a, from what I can tell, it's a lot deeper than the uh, the big one. But you know, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that whenever it dried up, they, they swam in there or migrated in there to get to the deeper water. Um, but there are still some in the big pond. And that does actually get uh, pretty deep over in the, that, that back corner where I did catch the, the two out of there. Um, actually, the opposite side of where I caught the second one. Um, but yeah, uh, the water is back at Lakeside. Sort of. It's not all the way back, but it's it's a lot better than it was. Uh, and the fish are back, so I don't know if there's any big ones left. I mean, I would hope so, but uh, part of the video that was uh, lost audio, and I just... I, I use audio cues whenever I'm editing to look for certain things, for certain clips, like in the video. And I did find three dead fish that I don't I mean they've been dead for a while they were just bones basically but uh two of them were the the jaws and everything of a large of largemouth one of them was very big the other one was probably a uh one and a half two pounder and then I found some bones of like carp and stuff so apparently there's been a fish kill out there and uh I'm hoping the population is going to be able to bounce back uh, it was either a fish kill or somebody was just eating the fish right then and there, cleaning them right then and there, and leaving the bones up on, on the bank. Uh, and I didn't show those because I can't find those clips in there. I know they're in there somewhere, but I got 75 video files to go through, and I have no uh, cues to to find, Like, because that's what I do. I cue things up in the when I'm making a video. I'll say things, or I'll clap, or I'll do something to... to to bring attention to that that clip and with no audio I can't do that so uh, I don't feel like sitting here and going through 75 uh, quiet clips to to find that uh, I don't feel like going through any more of it that's all that was all the important stuff so the water's back the fish are back uh, it might turn into a decent fishing place again so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.